Okay, so welcome to the weekly intuitive action. So this is your opportunity to connect in with your higher self to get the most aligned weekly message, soul guidance and insight that's going to support you over the next seven days. Now you could have used the weekly guidance and the card that you picked as your as your kind of like your main driver for finding out what information or action or message that it is that you need to hear that's related to that card. Or it might be that you have your own question, something that maybe you're being challenged by, you're struggling with, or you would just like some more inspiration or ideas. So this is a short exercise that supports you with connecting with your higher self so that you can hear that guidance, that insight, those whispers. However your higher self speaks to you, whether it be auditory, maybe it be a sense of feeling, maybe it be through colours or visuals or just a sense of knowing, your intuition, your higher self will speak to you through those different ways and channels. And so I'm going to support you with being able to connect with that and get that insight and guidance. We're also going to do a grounding and we'll connect with our spiritual support team to also hold the space. So you'll get and receive also a short blessing and healing that will support you also and set you up for the week. So it doesn't matter when you watch this, you can come back and watch this time and time again, whenever you maybe need to pet me up or you just need to get some more insight and guidance, then uh, just use this um, as many times as you wish. So without further ado, let's get started. So I want you to, if you've got some shoes on or some slippers and your feet are not too cold, then kick those off and I want you to start to feel the floor beneath your feet. So as you're sat upon the chair or if you're on a bed, then you may want to just imagine that your feet are on the floor or actually get your feet on the floor. Um, and I just want you to just feel that connection and start to close your eyes. And so by closing the eyes, obviously, we're going to start to go inward. I'm going to start to connect with the body more. But by shuffling your feet around, what you're doing is you're working waking up the nerve endings in the bottoms of the feet, the soles of the feet. And you just start to feel that connection with the floor. Just feeling how solid the ground is beneath your toes, beneath your heels and the balls of the feet. And just giving thanks to Mother Earth for this connection and for supporting with the grounding that we're gonna to do today. So now place your hands with the palms, the backs of the palms, gently on the legs, just resting on the thighs. So your palms are facing upwards. And this just allows you to be in a very open and receptive state, ready for whatever guidance and insight needs to come through for you to hear sense, feel, or just know. And then what I'd like you to do is just take a deep breath in for me. And as you take that deep breath in, we're going to call back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And on the out breath, I want you to relax. Allow the shoulders to drop. And just allow any stresses or worries to come to maybe to the fore and then just melt away, melt back into the chair, melt into the furniture. Those stresses and those worries will start to head towards the floor, just dripping away from your body. And Mother Earth will take any energy that isn't serving us, that isn't for our highest good, and she'll transform, transmute that energy into other energy to be used for elsewhere. And again, take another deep breath in, calling back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And again, on the out breath, allow the shoulders to relax, feeling the support of the chair behind your back, allowing yourself to be supported fully, feeling your feet upon the floor, and again, take another deep breath in. 
calling back all of your energy from across time and space, people and events. And on the out breath again, just relaxing, releasing, letting go. Making a more solid connection with the furniture and the floor. Fully relaxing and allowing yourself to let go. And then I want you to start to imagine that there's thick, strong roots coming from the soles of your feet. And those thick, strong roots start to make their way into the ground, into the soil, heading down deeper and deeper into the earth, deeper and deeper through all the different layers of the planet, of the ground, through all of the rocks, the stones, the shale, deeper and deeper. And they get so deep that we start to notice there before us or imagine, sense, feel, or just know that there is a large sparkling crystal. And this represents the heart of Mother Earth. And I want you to take your roots to that crystal and just notice what kind of crystal or color that crystal is today. Wrap your roots around the crystal. And as you wrap your roots around that crystal, you'll start to have this connection, a deeper connection with the earth, with the planet, with the heart of Mother Earth. And you may start to feel a shift, a tingling, a temperature change. You may not feel anything at all, and that is perfect. Just know that by connecting your roots to the heart of Mother Earth, you are fully connecting, being fully earthed and grounded. Allowing yourself to be plugged in, feeling very present in the body. And also taking that energy of the heart of Mother Earth and allowing it to nurture and nourish you as she gives freely, that crystalline energy transfers into your roots and you start to absorb that energy higher up through the roots, back up through the earth, the different layers of the planet, the rocks, the stones, the shale, the soil, the mud, going higher and higher. And we're gonna take that crystalline energy, whatever color, it is. We're going to take it through the earth star chakra, which is below your feet, about a meter and a half. Then allowing that energy to start to rise into the soles of your feet. And here you may start to feel that physical shift more strongly. Don't worry if you don't. Just know that that crystalline energy is now coming into your body and you're fully absorbing and drawing that energy up the legs, up to the thighs, up through the base of the spine, through the root chakra, going up through the sex organs, through the sacral chakra, then higher again through your navel chakra, below your belly button, taking it higher still, now through the solar plexus above the belly button. The energy is rising now up to your heart. And I want you to take a deep breath in for me. And as you take that deep breath in, on the out breath, I want you to allow your heart to expand and open its petals, allowing the crystalline energy to work its way through those petals, expanding the heart chakra even more. This may feel a little bit uncomfortable. You may feel a little bit vulnerable. But allow yourself, give yourself permission to let go and know that it's safe to open yourself up further. As that crystalline energy works its way in to all the different aspects of your heart. Transmuting and breaking down anything that isn't serving you. Any old pain, grief, loss. Anything where we've placed up walls of protection, just allowing that crystalline energy just to work on that and allowing yourself to just open that little bit more. 
Our crystalline energy now works its way up to the shoulders and then works its way down to your arms, all the way down to your palm chakras. The palm chakras open, which allow you to more easily take creative action. Bring your awareness up to the throat, taking the energy through the throat chakra, up to the back of the neck, at the top of the neck and at the base of the skull, through the ultra major chakra, which is your divine feminine aspect of your intuition. Now imagine that energy being taken to the third eye, the point between your eyebrows. This is the masculine aspect. Any intentions that you have for the week, any magic or miracles that you wish to realize or intend. Just place that intention now from your heart up through the third eye and out into the universe. So set an intention for the week, taking it through the third eye and imagining it just expanding now out into the universe, that intention so that your spiritual support team, your guides can help support that intention. Allowing perhaps those right people to come onto your path. The inspiration to come to you and to your awareness. Or maybe just having a sense of motivation and confidence to do something new this week that supports that intention. Be optimistic, be open. Now bringing that in, that energy round into the sides of the ears, through the ear chakras, into the middle of the head, through the penal and pituitary glands, and then up to the top of the head, up to the crown, and allow the crown chakra to open. Imagining it is a beautiful thousand petaled flower opening up gently as though the sun was beating down its beautiful rays of light and the flower opens and those petals just fall gently around the back of your head and around your face and the energy the crystalline energy now shines through the top of your head lighting up the etheric chakras above your head and at the back so through the corsal chakra at the back of the head, the soul star chakra above your head, the universal chakra, which is higher again, your stellar gateway, which is about a meter and a half to two meters above your head. And then projecting that energy higher still up through the ceiling of the room that you're in, the roof of your home, going higher and higher up into the sky and up through your solar junction chakra, your own personal sun. Allow that to be connected. So you're fully connected through all of your chakras. You're firmly, firmly grounded and earthed by mother earth. And we're now going to Connect in with your spiritual support team and ask them to step into your space. These are 100% pure beings of light. These may be angels, ancestors, star beings, galactic races, elementals, ascended masters, goddesses and god energies. All are welcome here if it supports your ascension and your connection to your higher self today. At this point, we're gonna ask for your ego to now step out of your body. So imagine, sense, feel, or just know that there's a being, an aspect of you that is now stepping out of your body. You may want to imagine that this is a person or maybe just a color or a light. As they step out of their body, they have a smile upon their face because they know that they'll be back soon enough. We're going to ask for your ego to now leave the room. 
Your ego heads towards the door, opens the door, steps out of the room and shuts it gently behind them. Now you know that any guidance, insights, feelings or sensations or visuals that you get will be coming from your higher self and not your subconscious or your ego. We're now going to call in the six archangels to also just hold you in an angelic sphere of light. Archangel Michael now steps in behind you. Archangel Gabriel to your left, Archangel Uriel in front, and Archangel Raphael to your right. We invite Archangel Sandalphon to hold the space below your feet, and Archangel Metatron to hold the space above your head. Archangel Metatron brings down a golden thread of light that's connected to divine source. This golden light is placed gently at your solar junction chakra and then travels down through the sky, down through the ceiling of the room that you're in, into your stellar gateway, your universal chakra, your soul star, your corsal, and then into your crown. That golden light works its way through the head, down through all of the chakras, down through the throat, and then settles at the heart, filling the heart with golden light. This golden light continues to expand through the body, through the bones, the organs, the blood, and then through your skin and out into your auric field. Feel yourself being held with this beautiful, golden, powerful light of divine source energy. Feel that connection as you know that you're now held above and below. Archangel Metatron just seals off that angelic sphere of light as he connects above your head. We're now going to focus on the third eye, that point between your eyebrows. And I want you to notice, sense, feel, or visualize a large purple portal of light that's starting to grow bigger and bigger bigger and bigger and it gets so big that you can step through that purple portal of light and you find yourself outside in a beautiful meadow allow yourself to stand in that meadow with your eyes closed listening to the sounds of nature all around you Perhaps you can hear the hum of buzzing bees. Maybe the chirp of birds in the background. The sun is high in the sky and the temperature on your skin is warm, not too hot, not too cold. And you can feel a gentle breeze just tickling your skin and your face, feeling the warmth of the sun. You can smell lots of flowers all around. Open your eyes and you'll notice there before you that there's a, a bench. Head over towards that bench and just sit yourself down, enjoying your environment and what you can see all around. Are there any trees? Can you see flowers, perhaps butterflies, birds, maybe larger animals such as rabbits? As you take in your surroundings with all of your senses, in the distance you notice that there's a figure, figure starting to walk towards you. As you get closer, you can sense, feel, or just see or know that this is your higher self. 
Your higher self is smiling and you stand up to greet your higher self. Your higher self steps forward and gives you a big, big hug. Feel that connection. Feel that love from this aspect of yourself. Your higher self gently takes your hands and invites you to sit back down on the bench and then waits patiently for you to ask the following question. Based on the card that I've picked for this week or otherwise, what is the most soul aligned action or message insights or guidance that you can give for me this week and I'll just give you a few moments to hear that message now And if there are any other messages, insights, wisdom or guidance that your higher self wishes to share now, we'll allow that to happen now. And once you've received those messages in whatever form that they came through, your higher self is now inviting you to stand back up, still holding your hands. Your higher self steps forward into your physical body and you start to integrate as you two become one. Feel that connection of your higher self Feel that power and that energy that your higher self brings to you. And just know that further insights, wisdom, guidance, awareness will come through if necessary, if it will support you with this week. And we ask for that to come through over the next 24 hours. Take a couple more seconds to enjoy this environment, your meadow, and then start to walk back towards the purple portal of light. When you're ready, step through the purple portal of light and start to bring yourself back into the physical body. Start to take some deep breaths. And then start to rub your hands on your thighs as you ground the healing that you've received, this blessing from the angels, from your support team. Ground in the intention that you've set through your third eye out to the universe and also grounding any further insights and messages that are ready to come through. So let me know how that was for you, if you had any um specific messages and just know that sometimes your messages that come through may not make sense but it's still important to honor where we can the advice and guidance that's been given to us by our higher self by our souls because that then builds the trust it builds the connection further and that is the purpose of doing this type of work is that it's building your practice so that connecting with your higher self becomes quick it becomes easy it becomes effortless but we need to put some of that practice and time and energy and effort in in order to get to that point so do share what um, was revealed to you um, take the blessing and the healing that you've had with you to support you um, certainly for today but over the next week as well and of course if you want to have that little top up 
uh, then go back and watch this again. It's ready there, available for you to watch over and over again. Okay, so love and blessings. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'll speak to you soon.